Thank you so much for making the time to speak with me. I know that it is a very, very busy time because you have one of the most prestigious film festivals in Canada celebrating Black History Month. It's going to be happening very soon as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a little bit about first what I'm talking about, what this film festival is? Well, this is a Toronto Black Film Festival. Um, we are in 2018, so we're celebrating the sixth edition already. It, it's, it's, it sounds like it was yesterday that we, we started, you know? I mean, time does fly. And uh, so we're having a record number of films this year, 60, over 60 films, over 60 from 20 countries. This is um, amazing. And it's all about black history, black stories, and diversity on screen. We couldn't be happier. Why did you decide that you wanted to create this? And how much of a need was this for our culture? Well, when my story started in Montreal about 15 years ago, I came from Haiti and I was a very popular actress in my country, my home country. And when I landed in Montreal, I couldn't find work as an actor. And um, I discovered that I was um, a young black woman with an accent, which I didn't know before. <laughs> and um, so uh, I said, well, maybe we should bring some Haitian films over and then to screen them so people in Montreal can see that maybe I deserve a shot, maybe I can act, maybe I can work in TV and television, um, in, in cinema. And then um, we tried that. And um, the last film I played in, which was our Titanic at the time in the Haitian community, and unfortunately, no festival would screen the film. No festival whatsoever. And I felt like I did not have a, a job. I did not, I was not worthy of having um, a voice and I didn't have a platform. So this is when we decided to say, you know what? Montreal deserves another festival. And we recreated the Fabian Colas Foundation, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to promoting um, diversity on screen and on stage um, through arts. And um, the first project became the Montreal Haitian Film Festival. And fast forward um, five years later, it expanded into the Montreal International Black Film Festival, um, which is Canada's largest black film festival. And six years ago, um, since Toronto is the city of film, and since Toronto is also where you have the largest black community in Canada, so it was just normal and necessary to have the Toronto, to create the Toronto Black Film Festival. So it's been six years and the festival is growing so much faster than the big sister in Montreal when it was at, six, uh, at its sixth edition. So uh, thanks to Toronto, thanks to Toronto, and we embrace this movement um, since the very beginning. And uh, I, I am the messenger. I'm the person that initiated it. But it became quickly the People's Festival. It became quickly uh, the Torontonians Festival. And I'm very proud when I see people like um, Alfre Woodard, like Isaiah Washington, like uh, Lou Gossett Jr., like um, Fred um, the Hammer Williamson, um, um, Bill Cobbs, and so many other ones coming from all over the world and then to come and support this festival, you know, to attend this festival. So this is great. And this year, we're also in 2018, we're also having um, great guests like Glamon Walker, who played in How Did I Get Married? One, two, three, four, five, six with <laughs> Tyler Perry. He has been in all great black films I've ever loved. Um, and he is currently starring alongside Oprah Winfrey in Green Leaf. Um, on own and uh, he's coming to the festival because he, he plays in a film called Service to Men which will um, be played on Saturday February um, 17 at um, AGO, um, Jackman Hall AGO at Gallery of Ontario so he will be here alongside the director and then um, the filmmaker um, the, the one of the actors alongside him will be there too for a great discussion after the film and then another great guest that we will be having is the first ever woman ever been nominated and winning an, uh, uh, an Emmy Award for casting. Her name is Robbie Reed. Um, she has been casting um, Spike Lee's films, like Malcolm X, Do the Right Thing, and so many other ones. She is responsible and she launched the careers of Halle Berry, Denzel Washington, Jamie Foxx, casting them in their you know, major roles so they can shine and people can discover them. So she will be 
um, offering a, a workshop about casting, about um, how an actor can take the leap and how she works, because right now she's the VP, the Vice President um, of content, Original Content at uh, BET, um, Black Entertainment Television. And we're lucky enough to have her here at the Toronto Black Film Festival. We're gonna pay tribute to her. Um, she's gonna receive the Career Achievement Award and uh, she's gonna offer a workshop. So all I'm saying here is on the website torontoblackfilm.com because I know very I speak important. very because I know I speak very fast. No, but you speak like you're very excited and you should be. I want to I want to talk a little bit more more about the films. But the thing I really want to ask is, how does it feel though? As you said before in the beginning, you couldn't even get a job. You couldn't get your film in any film festival. How does it feel though, knowing that you were able to get over that wall, get over that hump, not just get over that, but to create something? that is respected and, as I said, has brought prestige during Black History Month and to the Canadian film industry. Oh my God, I, I'm so um, grateful to um, the Canadian audience um, that was ready for diversity. While some people, some people um, in the t television industry or in Canadian cinema were, were, were not, um, because they're the gatekeepers sometimes that are preventing people of color from getting the auditions or being casted in major um, Canadian films or Canadian um, um, TV series and everything else. Um, not everybody, some. Um, and uh, the audience said no. You guys are wrong because we love that. And then that's why we're having sold out theaters. Opening film, closing film, what are the two going to be? The Rape of Reese Taylor by Nancy Bursky will open the Montreal, um, not the Montreal, but the Toronto Black Film Festival on February 14. Um, this is the woman um, Oprah Winfrey talked about um, in her um, inspiring speech at the Golden Globe. And some people call it the, a presidential speech that Oprah uh, delivered at the Golden Globe. And then she said, um, Reese Taylor, a woman I know and I think you should know too. And in Toronto, this is your chance to know this woman, Reese Taylor. She has been raped by six armed white men in the, the 40s. And at that time, you could not speak up. You could not say that you've been raped and then who, they, who they were, who the people that raped you were, especially if you were um, black at that time. You know, it's the time that they were lynching people and you could be killed, you can be murdered, you can be jailed for that. And she spoke up. She stood up against those people and then she denounced them. And she was helped by Rosa Parks um, in bringing those gentlemen to justice. But unfortunately, just justice was never served because that was the segregated South. And um, she just died, Reese Taylor, earlier, earlier this year. And I'm not saying um, that she finally got justice because that's not justice that she gets, but at least there's a recognition that she was the first Me Too advocate um, because she stood up when it was so difficult to do so um, for what, what what's, was um, for what shouldn't have happened. You know, she denounced that, and uh, so we kind of pay, pay tribute to her um, this year. She was celebrated in the in Congress recently, and in Canada, we're screening this film to open the Toronto Black Film Festival as a Canadian premiere meaning that without this festival, maybe this film would never have come to Canada. You see how important it is. This is a necessary festival. And uh, we're gonna open the Halifax Black Film Festival as well on March 2nd with that film. And uh, we're gonna close another initiative that we have for Black History Month called Fade to Black in Montreal with that film on February 25th. So um, there's a whole movement around that opening film. The opening film in Toronto is sold out. So we created an encore presentation um, the next day on Thursday, February the 15th at 9 p.m. at uh, um, AGO at Gallery of Ontario, Jackman Hall. And the closing film of the Toronto Black Film Festival is Kaluchi. It's the story of Solomon 
Malangu. Solomon Malangu is a South African hero. He was fighting against the apartheid regime, um, fighting for the release of Mandela, and he uh, had a tragic um, death. Um, but this is the story of that man. This is the first film on him, on his life. It's, a, it's from South Africa. It's a great masterpiece. Um, this is the film that opened last year, um, the um, Montreal Black Film Festival, and then now closing the Toronto Black Film Festival. It's going to be at Carlton on February 18. Now, I remember saying at the beginning of this interview that the festival ends on February 19. So here I am talking to you and say that the closing film is on February 18. What's going on here? It's because this year, for the first time, we added um, a, a kids component. It's the first edition of TBFF Kids Film Festival. And um, we're having free workshops and, and uh, so, so much for them um, during the festival for the whole day at Colton Cinema on, the, on Family Day. And um, lots of films for the kids are already sold out. So can, can, I'm going to jump in. Could you imagine if uh, 15 years from now, there's a film that's in your festival and that, that gentleman or female says, the reason why this film is here and I was able to do this because I was inspired oh, yeah. by being a child oh. and being part of that children's film festival that I, you held. That would be, that would have been, that would have, that would be the greatest compliment. I, oh my goodness. I remember um, two, two people, two, two women that said something very touching. One is Oprah Winfrey that said, um, when she saw Sidney Poitier winning an, award, uh, an Oscar, she said that changed everything for her. Because at this very moment, she was like, oh my God, I can dream a bigger dream now. I can be there. I can do great things because representation matters. And today I was reading a story um, on Variety um, magazine and it's Lupita Nwongo saying that when she saw the color purple, she thought everything was possible for her. And she thought, wow, when you see yourself reflected on TV, when you see yourself reflected, represented, opportunities, doors of opportunities open in your mind, you know, you, you, you like, you don't have limitation anymore, you know what I mean? So that diversity matters, but representation matters. It's important that we do see ourselves re reflected on TV, um, in films, and then that we see our whole role models, especially for the new generation, so we can understand that, hey, those people are doing this, we can do even greater things. Where do we go again for all the information? Because there is so much going on in those days. Where do we go? Social media wise, where do we follow? Well, everything I just mentioned and more and so many things I did not get a chance to mention because we have over 60 films from um, 20 countries. I'd like to quickly mention also a film um, that is a Canadian film nominated for um, five Canadian Screen Awards. It's the, a film called Boost by um, Darren Curtis. It's going to be out uh, March, is it March 16th? I do believe that uh, it's going to be out oh, then, yeah. yeah. And as we speak, I'm actually going to be there to see the film. Uh, I do believe it's going to be Thursday I'm going to go see. Yes, the film is playing. It's the Ontario premiere yeah. at the festival, at the Toronto Black Film Festival, on Thursday, February the 15th. Yeah. At 6:30 p.m. at Jackman Hall AGO, right before the encore screening of uh, *The Rape of Reese Taylor*, and the whole cast and crew of the film will be there, and including me because I will be there on the red carpet Yay! doing interviews. Yes, absolutely. So we're very, very excited about that. Um, it's a Canadian film, you know, so it's great. We have 60 other films like this. So go on. TorontoBlackFilm.com, TorontoBlackFilm.com for every information. The hashtag is TBFF18, TorontoBlackFilm.com, TBFF18. And um, from the website, you guys will see all social media handles. You can just click on them and then go follow us and love us and like us and, you know, retweet us and repost and share because we need to spread the word.